Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be cooking some of the deer heart from the buck that Paul shot just a couple days ago. As you can see it's hanging and um, we always like to have it fresh within the first couple days of harvesting the deer. It's when we find the heart's best. So we cut up some vegetables here and we're going to cast iron cook it with some of the chili oil that we actually make here on the homestead. But right now I'm just going to show you how to season the deer. I like to just put a little bit of this oil on first and just let it come out a little there. It is a little spicy so you don't want to put too too much. Put the back down. And we're actually going to use some apple whiskey on it. I um, haven't tried this before so I think it'll turn out real good though. We're just going to use a little bit. Come on, come on now. There we go. And then this is a seasoning blend that we make here as well. Be liberal. There you go. And I'm just going to mix it in. Make sure everything's coated. There we go. You can add more seasoning if you like, or you can add less. It's up to you. But right now, I'm just going to let that sit. I'm going to get the grill hot, and I'll show you the next step. Alright, so the pan is hot enough now. We got our oil in there. And I've just started with the peppers because it takes the longest to break down. So you want to basically start with whatever is going to take the longest, like if you had carrots or peppers or whatnot. So I'm using that now. And then I'm going to put the onions on next. So we're going to let that sweat now for a little bit, then we're going to add our garlic, and then we're going to put the heart on last. And as you can see in the back, we have some plank burbot. Now this is burbot that we caught the winter, this is burbot that we have caught the last winter, and we thought it would be really nice to plank it up with the heart, so that's what we're doing there now. So it's very simple. All you got to do is take your fish, season it, put some flecks in it just to make sure it cooks evenly. And you're going to want to use a hardwood and nail your fillets onto the board. Sorry, just a little bit of smoke here. <laughs> so you're going to nail your fillets onto the board and then just let them sit by the coals. So if you can see there, the embers at the bottom. Not too close, but not too far. And make sure you have some water just in case you're planning to do set on fire. And yeah, as you can see, they're cooking beautifully. In a little bit, I'm actually going to stick some of these garlic pieces inside of those slits just to give it a little bit of flavor. Mm -hmm. And make sure you use oil because the oil is going to help keep that fish moist as well. So, oh, I think it's about ready to add that garlic. Just going to add about half because remember, I still want to leave some for the bare bit. And use your spring onion last. Because you don't want it to turn a kind of brownie color. So you want to use it last, almost like a garnish. Put that aside. Let this cook down a little bit more. And then we'll put our heart on. time for the heart definitely okay so we took the vegetables off and I'm gonna use the spring onion last so once the heart is cooked I'm gonna put this on and cook it all together just to heat it all up so I've added some more oil to the pan I'm letting it just heat up a little bit should be good though okay so now we're ready to put our heart in you hear that sizzle that's how you know your pan is hot enough for the meat. Let's put this on here. Let's put this on here. 
clean anything. Okay. But that should be good enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do another round of here or there, but I'll just let that basically cook. Then we're gonna flip it over in about a minute or so. And then let it cook for about a minute on that side and then take it off. Ready to turn. Ready to go on the trainer. Remember when you're cooking on an open fire, you just want to kind of turn your pan sometimes, distribute the heat a little bit more on the other side. There we go. These are cooking up really nice. Just a bit done. Okay, this here is ready. Pick up the rest of the pieces, threw it all together, added a little bit of that extra garlic. And now I'm gonna add the vegetables that we had already pre-cooked, just to warm everything back up. And at this point, I'm actually gonna add the spring onion. Now, if you add it beforehand, it's gonna go brown. So it's best to add it in just before everything's done and it keeps that nice, vibrant green color. So mix that a little bit, and then just gonna add this in. There we go. See how green that is? It's so beautiful. Okay. Okay. Now, as you can see with the burger, we had to close it off a little bit just so we can cook the top parts and we actually put a piece of coal up on the grill here and that helped just cook the top parts of the fish there and that's just about done but just there we go the heart here is definitely done this is beautiful eh? okay. i'm just going to take it off the heat and then i'm going to plate it up Now you can do this with any vegetable mix you like. Get the rest of these veggies out. And remember when you're using cast iron, always use a metal spatula or a metal utensil. It's just better for your cast iron. Okay, that's it. The venison hurt. There you have it, eh? How beautiful that is have it with whatever dip you like uh, ketchup barbecue sauce anything you can even have it plain because it's got enough flavor on its own but we're gonna pull the bourbon off very shortly and that's dinner thanks for joining us i'm gonna pull the bourbon off we're done now just be careful when you're doing this you don't want to drop the fish and you don't want to burn yourself okay a lot of smoke there and there we go So that's the plank burbot. Now I may just turn these planks and let it sit for maybe a minute or so just to get the top parts here to be as crisp as the bottom. But that's gonna be delicious. A good additive to dinner. Deer heart and burbot. Okay, so we flipped it over on the grill here, just kind of charred the top, so that's what we're talking about. So it's evenly cooked now, and that looks amazing. That's plank burbot, and you could do this with pretty much any fish. You just nail the fillets to the board, season them, and then set them by the fire. Yeah. Paul's just putting on a little bit of oil afterwards, just so they don't get all dry. Yeah. It's got 
that nice smoky char.